Hey, what's going on guys and Grouch here. Real quick before the video starts, I wanted to remind you that I'm going to be hosting an anime theme giveaway for my 100,000 subscriber special video in the next couple of weeks. If you haven't already, I highly recommend turning notifications on to be alerted about that as soon as it comes out. Because if you are selected, you definitely want to be first in line for that. As for today's video, I decided to do something a little bit different, that being a Pokemon fact video. I haven't really covered Pokemon all that much on my channel, mainly because I had quit it so long ago, but recently I've been catching up on all the games that I haven't played before, and honestly it's been a ton of fun. And I thought, what better way to start it off than with Generation 1? Originally, I had plans on making a fact video on just the Generation 1 Pokemon, making it one giant project, but that took a lot more time than I thought. So what I decided to do to make it a bit easier on myself was to cut it into parts. So essentially this is going to be a new series on my channel in which I cover one interesting fact for every Pokemon there is. So with that being said, let's get on with the video. Prior to the release of Generation 7, Bulbasaur was the only unevolved starter Pokemon to have a dual typing, those types being Poison and Grass. Ivysaur is the only Generation 1 Pokemon whose name begins with the letter I. Due to the sensor that prevents Pokemon with offensive nicknames to be traded on the GTS, a Venusaur with an English name could not be traded without a nickname in Generation 5. This is because of the saw in its name, which can be translated to swine in German. In its sprites and other early artworks, Charmander's back is depicted to have small lines of spikes, but were all removed in later generations. Blue's Charmander also had these spikes in the Pokemon Adventures manga, as well as Green's Charmander from the Pokemon Pocket Monsters manga. Charmeleon and its evolutions all share its category with Flareon, Moltres, and Infernape. They are all known as the Flame Pokemon. Charizard holds the distinction of being the first Pokemon to ever appear in the Pokemon anime. How is this true? Well, the Japanese version of the original opening theme is actually much different from how you or I remember it, but was later altered when the show was brought overseas, instead changing the first Pokemon to Mewtwo. Many fans believe Squirtle's name to be a combination of the word squirrel and turtle, as it's obviously a turtle, but its tail resembles that of a squirrel. However, this is more of a fan theory than anything, but it's still pretty mind-blowing to think about. If that isn't enough of a fact for you, the small country of Nui actually released a special doll coin featuring Squirtle and a select few other Pokemon, as part of a commemorative promotion for the Pokemon franchise. Even though War Turtle's ears are depicted lighter than its face in the original Sugimori stock art and most of its game sprites, early promotional pictures portrayed its ears the same color as its face. Blastoise shares its category with Kabuto and Kabutops as the shellfish Pokemon. Caterpie was the first Pokemon shown to have been both caught and evolved in the anime. In Pokemon Red, Blue, blue and yellow versions, it is impossible to complete the game using only a Metapod or a Caterpie. This is because the only moves these two Pokemon could learn are Tackle and String Shot, the only other move being Struggle when they run out of PP, which if you didn't know was classified as a normal type move at the time. This means that neither Pokemon were able to do damage to Ghost types, which rendered the game impossible to complete. However, this was changed in later games. Butterfree was the first Pokemon shown in the anime to have an alternate color scheme, being the pink Butterfree that we see in episode 21. However, this has only been seen in a single female Butterfree and is contrary to popular belief, not a shiny Butterfree, which instead has green eyes and pink wings, limbs, and snout. Weedle has the lowest base stat total of all poison type Pokemon. It is also tied with 5 others for having the lowest special defense stat of all Pokemon. Similar to Metapod and Caterpie, both Kakuna and Weedle were unable to do damage to Steel-type Pokemon up until the release of Pokemon Platinum. This is because prior to its release, the only two moves the Pokemon could learn were Poison Sting and String Shot. However, this time around, Struggle was fixed, so you could at least do a little bit of damage. If Pokemon existed in the real world, Beedrill would be 3 feet tall and weigh 65 pounds. Just let that sink in for a little. In the anime, Pidgey is mistakenly depicted with 4 talons on each foot, as opposed to having just 3. Despite its name, Pidgeotto's design appears to be based less off of a pigeon and more off an osprey, as well as other birds of prey. Both Pidgeot's name in English and Japanese are a combination of the word Pigeon and Jet, which is a reference to its ability to reach great speeds. If you give the Focus Sash to a level 1 Rotata that knows the two moves Quick Attack and Endeavor, 
You can then use that Rattata to defeat nearly any Pokemon you battle. Raticate is the only Pokemon that shares its national Pokedex number with the level at which it evolves from its pre-evolution. According to the anime episode Pokemon I Choose You, Spearow cannot see color. In the Generation 4 game, Spearow weighs as much as Lucas, which is the male playable character of Pokemon Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. Ekans is Snake spelled backwards. Throughout the different Pokemon games up until Gen 3, Arbok had slight differences in its design, mainly in regards to the pattern it has on the front side. In 2008, Japanese researchers discovered a new protein that helps carry electrical impulses from the eye to the brain, and named it Pikachurin. According to the researchers, the decision was based on both the Pokemon and the proteins possessing lightning fast moves and shocking electric effects. In Pokemon Red and Blue, there is a scientist at the Pokemon Lab in Cinnabar Island who will trade you a Raichu for an Electrode. If the player talks to him after the trade has been completed, he will mention that the Raichu evolved, which is not possible. This mistake was due to the original translation of the script in the Japanese Blue version, in which the person traded a Graveler for a Kadabra. This error ended up being corrected with the Gen 1 remakes. Sanchu has the lowest base special attack of all ground Pokemon. In the Pokemon Red and Blue beta, Sandslash's original name was Sandstorm. The female Nidoran is the only Pokemon that loses its ability to breathe upon evolution. This also makes Nidorina and Nido Queen the only two Pokemon that cannot breathe despite being able to in their pre-evolution state. Nidorina's shiny coloration is similar to Nidorino's regular coloration and vice versa. In fact, this is true for both Nidoran families minus Nidoqueen. Despite being in the undiscovered group, Nidoqueen was shown to be capable of breathing in the anime special Mewtwo Returns, when a cloned Nidoqueen and a cloned Rhyhorn produce eggs containing both a baby Rhyhorn and baby Nidoqueen. Which makes zero sense by the way. Due to the fact that its gender sign is included in its name, checking the male Nidoran summary from Generation 2 onward will display it as if it were genderless if it does not have a nickname. However, if you do end up giving it a nickname, its gender will appear as normal. The Nidorino that appears in Professor Oak's introduction in Pokemon Red and Blue has the cry of a Nidorina. Nidoking appears to be a popular choice for the anime rivals, having been put on three teams so far, those three being Paul, Gary, and Silver. In the original pilot episode of the anime, Clefairy was intended to be Ash's starting Pokemon. Due to a last minute change, however, the role instead went to Pikachu. Clefable, along with its pre-evolution, shares its category with Snubble and Gramble. They are all known as the fairy Pokemon. The beta Pokemon names in red and blue listed Vulpix as Firefox. Vulpix is the combination of Vulpes, Latin for fox, and Six, which refers to its six tails. Nine Tails is based on a fox, particularly the Kitsune, a Japanese legend, which is said to have many tails, extremely long lifespans, and can breathe fire. After living long enough, Kitsune eventually take on spirit forms, which might explain why Ninetales can learn ghost-type moves. Jigglypuff, who has remained a reoccurring character in the Super Smash Bros. franchise, is depicted with green eyes and rose-pink fur, making it resemble its shiny form much more than its normal form. In its earlier appearances, Wigglytuff's white stomach did not always extend above its mouth. This can mainly be seen in the sprites for the Japanese red and green version. Zubat, along with Golbat, has appeared in every regional Pokedex. Zubat and Golbat are also the only Pokemon to have appeared in the lineup of every villainous team in the main series games. In Generation 2, Bill's grandfather asked the player to bring him a round green Pokemon with leaves growing on its head, which is supposed to be Oddish. However, in those games and subsequent generations, Oddish's body, unless it's a shiny, is blue. This mistake might have been a translation error caused by the ambiguity of the Japanese word Ayo, which can mean either blue or green. This was later fixed, however, in the Gen 2 remix. Currently, Gloom is the only dual-type Pokemon with the ability to evolve into a single-type Pokemon. Vileplume, like Gloom, is based off the Rafolsia Arnoldi, the world's largest foul-smelling single flower. In Generation 1, poison attacks were super effective against Bug, making Paris and Parasect the only Pokemon to have ever had 3x4 weaknesses. Parasect's Pokedex entry for Pokemon Stadium connects the Pokemon world with the real world, noting that its spores are sometimes used for medicine in China. 
Fans have speculated that before the release of Gen 1, Venonet was supposed to be at one point the pre-evolution of Butterfree instead of Venomoth. If you look at the two close side by side, you can see they have very similar traits. In early official art of Venomoth, it was shown to have yellow spots on the back of its wing. With more official artwork coming out, this was eventually removed. Since the release of Generation 5, when Diglett and the trio are sent out, they merely fade onto the screen instead of dropping down like all other Pokemon. In the Poke Transfer minigame, also introduced in Generation 5, Ducktrio and Diglett are the only Pokemon to run between bushes rather than jump. 